The awesome conspirators! Hey, look, it's people and people and more people! It's it's just my crazy family. Uh, what's up, conspirators? How are things on your end of the video? On my end of the video, you know, we're just like uh, chilling. They had to go to a couple classes today, which involves gym and running around and eating candy. Um, it smells like beef jerky in here. And, uh, and a writing class. He, he loves writing, right? Tell him what you did today. Um, like sentences. He wrote a sentence like, the cat walked home. He's really good. You should see. <laughs> I'm kidding, whatever. So, yeah, what have I been up to today? Well, I've been up since, oh goodness, 7 in the morning and uh, running around. I had like two, three, or four places to go to today, all downtown areas. And then uh, I had to drive them here. Oh, but my day's not done yet, because guess what? I gotta go home and make dinner. <sighs> I love my life. Kim's making, Kim's making dinner? Oh. So that means you get one more exciting thing to do. What? what which is what? Go skating. Mm -mm. Uh -uh, Eat the I, food. Yeah. Eat the food! And, and then they have a uh, 4-H meeting at a roller skating arena Incredible. this evening. So you guys know what 4-H is? If you don't, let, just post a comment. We'll tell you what 4-H is. 4-H is great. 4-H is not for country bumpkins anymore. 4-H works as well in the country as it does in the city. There's some dude over there, David. Yep. He's gonna knock himself out with his keys. <laughs> and getting in the car. So yeah, that's, that's our day. My day, at least. It's crazy. What do you guys do today? Sure to let me know down in the comments. BT Dubs, happy Monday! Okay. Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, that's a Julian Smith reference. So, the video I want you guys to see today is a really interesting ad by The Guardian. Now, The Guardian is a newspaper, and I, while I'm not a fan of all of newspapers because I think they're a dying trend, this, The Guardian came up with a unique advertisement. They took the story, The Three Little Pigs, and they modernized it to the point where, I don't know how they did it, but like it was like in the modern sense, like what would happen if like The Three Little Pigs blew down the house. <laughs> Three little pigs are running oh, around. Look at him, wow, look out, look out. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Where are you going? <laughs> I guess he wanted to do a donut in the parking lot. But yeah, it takes the three little pigs and it modernized it. And it had like people like tweeting about it on journaling and uh, writing articles about it. It was for their new campaign called uh, Citizen Journaling, being a citizen so journalist. It was really funny. And uh, basically how it ends up is that... Um, the houses themselves cannot fall down. The wolf cannot physically blow that hard to knock down houses. It had to have been an inside job. And then they find out it was a conspiracy, eh? which is why I showed the video. What are you guys doing? It was a con oh. He's trying. He's trying to smoke pork. We're legal here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Anyways, and he's eating candy. But yeah, so like the underlying reason how like it was a conspiracy between the three pigs that the two houses blew up. Now the reason that they had the houses blow up is because they wanted to collect on damages. They wanted to like make some money because they had the house insured and they wanted to make some money off of the house and you know drain all the rest of the equity out of it. And, and subsequently the pigs got put behind bars for the rest of their life. So instead of the wolf going away, being a bad guy, I guess, like, the pigs go away being bad guys. It was really funny. So, the link to that video is down below in the wrapper. Otherwise, you can click the red annotation tab that says click to watch now to watch it. Be sure to come back here and leave a comment. Hey, you guys have a comment phrase of the day? Uh, incredible! No, that's not a phrase, that's um, a word. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know even though I went to writing class. Have fun! <laughs> he said, I don't know even though I went to writing class. Wow, that's a long sentence. Does that have a comma in it? Peace out. Oh. No, I don't say that anymore. So, uh, <laughs> be sure to share this video with a friend, conspirator, pretty much. Keep being awesome, and until we meet again, live it out. Hey, you ready for the bro five? Hey, you guys ready for the bro five? Yeah! Bro five. Hey guys, bro five. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs>